so there's still a lot of adjustment to be done on this door before I can move to the next stage um, it's still binding on the catch I've also noticed that the hinge adjustment one of the screws the furthest screw inside is actually hitting upon that heater tube there so I'm going to have to reduce the length of that also the door pins um, I'm getting a lot of drop on the door due to the sagginess of these door pins so I think I'm going to have to make a homemade tool to actually try and pull them out so this is what I've currently got in the makings of the hinge pin removal tool got an old bit of plate there and I've cut a few of those down already to size so I've done four of those so far and need another two the idea being I'm going to weld three together to make a thicker plate So it's now looking a lot like the concepts that you see online when it comes to this tooling. Just got it back from my dad's place where he was able to utilise the use of the pillar drill, get some more accurate holes drilled through. So I've got a 13mm hole up on the top section, that's to clear the threaded hinge pin I got because the 67 Beetle has um, wing mirrors that actually screw onto the hinge pin itself. Uh, I've got a 8mm centre bar just to hold everything in its place and uh, these are 10 millimeter threaded rods so the idea being is just to basically tighten it up and hopefully push the hinge pin out so I've yet to get my stainless steel rods I'm going to make three different lengths up um, starting off with a smaller length and then increasing those so I can get up inside and push the pin out and I am still yet to take some more material off of this bottom section and that's purely because the beetle door is quite bulbous in shape and this needs to be closer to the body to allow the pin to be in line with the top section got that screw cut down it's still hitting slightly but not as bad as before You should be able to see the amount of wear that's in that pin, especially in that midsection there. So I clamped that hinge together nice and straight and then I bored it out with a 8.1mm reamer to accommodate the pin of the same size. So hopefully it's ready for this to be uh, pushed in now. Okay, so there we go. I think I'm going to leave it there for today's work now. Just managed to get that pin pressed in by using the old clamp. And the remainder of the time I've been trying to adjust these hinges by use of a hammer and a block of wood. I've been trying to actually spring them back so I can get the door gaps aligned a little bit better. So bottom hinge, I've been trying to spring back in this direction. Top hinge in that direction and this door gap is now looking a hell of a lot better still some adjustment on the catch but it's not actually fouling that rear quarter anymore and hopefully I should get it right So I think you can appreciate why there's so much adjustment work to be done to these doors and hinges. I mean the fact that the body's been separated from the pan, the heater channels have been done previously, the A-pillar work's been done, 
so the car itself has been pulled about a lot but one of the reasons for these hinges to be in the state that they were is that this car since I've had it has never had these door check straps so the doors opening up too wide and bending the hinge backwards in the wrong direction but with me adjusting that bottom hinge there with the old hammer it appears that it's brought on another problem and that's that this off the shelf panel doesn't want to sit flush with the new A pillar there it's almost like it's not long enough something else that I'm going to have to uh, rectify and finally just a little summary of the actual tool that I made put a little bit of a ding in the door there a little bit of loss of paint but at least it wasn't in the final paint stages for me to uh, get annoyed with myself and worry about it and the actual tool itself had a little bit of flex on these threaded bars so if anything I'll probably change them out for a uh, maybe a 12 millimeter version uh, take a little bit more material off of this bottom section there just so I don't ding the door again and uh, generally just tidy it up and put it away just in case I need it again